So for this fire, we just had uh, some se several National Guard uh, troops just move in to investigate what's happening here. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming up from this fire. We also had one of the Sheriff's SWAT vehicles drive in as well. When they moved up, again, many of the protesters who were scattered about in this part of 70th and Humboldt, they just basically left the area. I'm going to step out of the way and give you a look at this fire. I did see some sparks, so this may have been started with fireworks because just a few minutes ago, it looks like what I saw some, some fireworks go off inside the fire itself. And uh, right now, the again, the National Guard, they surrounded it. There may be at least one vehicle that's uh, damaged in this fire, especially from the heat, because this type of fire uh, just illuminates a lot of heat and, uh, you know, the car windows. I think I probably heard a, car, a couple of car windows break as well. There are still people out despite the curfew, and now we have some of the um, state, uh, some of the National Guards moving back down towards 69. They do have lights up there um, at the intersection where you can see here, this is where they basically have staged. I don't, I'm not sure if the plan is to move this way as well. At this particular intersection, there are apartment complexes on both sides of the street. And again, people are just standing around despite the curfew and not going home. When we were down at 69, they basically started flashing a very bright light at us. They knew we were pressed, but they asked us to move. And as you know, under Operation Safety Net, we agreed as media to obey the officer's commands when they asked us to leave the area because they're looking out for our safety as well. This could go on for several more hours, especially if we have things like fires just being started. Back to you in the studio. All right, Steve, thanks so much for your reporting. We appreciate it uh, very much.